This farm is a busy place, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The farm uh, is made up of 276 acres. This farm was purchased by the county in 1870 as a poor farm. And we try today, more than 130 years later, to keep the same kinds of animals on the farm that they would have had on a working farm in the 1870s here in Suffolk County. We have more than 200 animals here on the farm, ranging from the largest animals, our dairy cattle and our beef cattle, to our goats. We have several different breeds of goats, um, both milk goats and dairy goats. <laughs> The most important building on this farm is the historic hay barn. Its official title is the Suffolk County Almshouse Hay Barn. Students come here to do their practicum work with animals. It's very important to us that our animals are healthy and happy, and the way we do that is to feed them quality food and to make sure that the areas that they live in are clean. Last year we had more than 20,000 school children visit the farm for a wide variety of field trip experiences. We take them on an educational tour of the farm and then they might come into a classroom and participate in an egg to chick program, participate in a uh, go wild about llamas program. Now what happens at the process? Oh, we're going to see a little Kira? Cream, right. Our Yard Buddies is a springtime program that we have on Saturday mornings. Um, it's basically for children to get hands-on opportunities with the animals. Uh, we have the schools that come here and they stay on the outside of the fence. This is more these kids get to go on the inside of the fence. So they get to get up close and personal with the animals. children are getting out of it and an appreciation for agriculture and an appreciation for animals and all that they do for us. I don't have a favorite part. I like everything about it. I like it gives the opportunity to learn things that she wouldn't normally learn or find out about and especially that she's on a real farm, a real working farm. So it's like a first, first hand, hands-on experience. We have great plans for this farm in the future. Of course, it's very important to us that it remain a production facility so that people can really see what it takes to raise food, both crops and animals. As time goes on, this may be one of the last remaining places that people can come and learn about where their food comes from. <laughs>